Hi, I'm Truda Carney at the shore, and today we are here on Washington Street in beautiful Cape May, and we're visiting the Hue. Please come with me. I'm gonna try to turn you around here. Uh, give me one second. Okay. Here we go. Hello, John. Hi, Judah. How are you? Good. How are you? Thanks so much for having me today. Welcome to the U. Wonderful. Where's your beautiful bride? Sandy is going to be out in a second. Okay, great. All right. So we have a couple questions for you, but we can walk through if you'd like to show us around a little bit. So this is the parlor that we open up to the guests. Um, they usually enjoy this in the morning um, before they come down for breakfast and in the evening for a drink, and it's really fun. We have music playing all the time, so it gives a really nice chill vibe. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna ask you, you're in the hot seat, I'm gonna ask you some questions. We have a visitor. Um, so let's start with two things about your past that led you here to the Hill. Oh, Sandy has arrived. Yay, perfect. just perfect timing for the questions. Hello. Hi, gorgeous girl. <laughs> so nice to see you, Sandy. Nice to see you too. Great. Okay, so we have two things about your past that led you both here to the Hill. Okay, well, I think, you know, we spent, um, as children, we spent time here, and we always had a sort of soft spot for Cape May. Okay. I met here. Yes. Forgot to tell you that. Oh, you did? Yes. Wonderful. In Cape May. Yes. Lovely. Tell us more about that. Well, I won't tell you the whole story, but we met years ago, and um, it became a special place for us. So then when we got married, we would bring our kids here and um, never expected to settle here, but here we are. And Sandy's dream was always to own a bed and breakfast. That was her secret dream that we never knew would actually happen. But right. Surprisingly, the timing was right and, and this happened and we're super excited to share this with people from Cape May and visitors and it's been amazing. Well, we're so happy to have you here in Cape May. So. Thank you. All right, so two reasons why you made your dream a reality, which you shared that, and um, why you picked Cape May, because you met here, right? It just... Well, again, yeah, that, and we fell in love with Cape May. It's, it's just charmed. It's just a charming place, and it, um, it's, a, it's untouched still. You know, some of the other shore points are just so um, commercialized. Yes. And I just love the charm here. I felt that why Sandy and I really made this a reality was it was a project that we can do together. One, we can yeah. share our design together, we can work in the um, serving and entertaining the people, and we thought it was a time in our lives to really do something as a team, and we're loving it. Yeah, that's fun. Love Working it. Working together is fun. That's beautiful. So two funny things. We're, and we're going to head right into what I believe is the dining area, and it's I'm sure there's a name for it. It's our breakfast, yes. and it is the restaurant. Okay, great. And then you could share two funny things that you did not expect coming into this business. Uh, well, I would say the funniest thing is um, some of the couples that come in, the things we sort of experience <laughs> as, um, as owners of this place. And some things a little rough, but I don't want to get into detail, but there's some funny, quirky little things that we get to uh, experience. Yeah. I'm sure you're like, you're like the mama and papa bear, right? You're taking in a lot of yeah, different we, families and experiences yes, of... Yes, and we find that people are so interested in our story. Everybody wants to know why is Kate May... Like, the questions you're asking, everyone asks us that, all of our guests. Mm -hmm. Right, because we, we all want to know. You're so... I mean, you've just really left an impression on the town, and you just started, and we're all so excited. So I guess we're all we curious. We some amazing people, too. And the restaurant has really opened up a whole new world for us. And mm -hmm. we really feel like we, we've done... You know what we really have kind of dreamed of doing. Come on. Okay. Share one of our rooms. Great. I would love to see them. So, and then you could share two top reasons why your viewers would want to come to the queue. So it's perfect timing that we're heading to the rooms also. I think we offer, I, we always call it a funk factor. We give Kate May a little funk and a little style, and I think people <laughs> really want to experience that. Yeah. And our rooms sort of kind of really feel like you're on vacation. 
like a fun vacation. Okay, and like it, our you've goal, been... well, as soon as someone walks into the door, my goal is to make them feel comfortable, as like they're um, visiting friends or family. Okay, I like that. This is gorgeous. Now this is this what do you is call the this room? Ebony room. Okay. It's <laughs> wow. <laughs> So share a little bit about your rooms. How many rooms do you have? We have eight rooms. Okay. And each room has a color theme? It does. And I'll, sh I'll tell you wh why we have that. These little knockers on the doors, okay. when we bought the place, they had a name of uh, the color already etched in it. So we took that as our handle. Wonderful. I love it. It was almost meant to be. It yeah. Wasn't. So we just followed our design instinct and played up the color. And yeah, this, I'm sorry, but this is black and white, but some of the other rooms are really bold in color. I can mm. show you one more if you want. So, and everyone, yes, I'll follow you. And everyone wants to know this, these, these rooms, what you've done to this property is so amazing. So we all want to know, what's your background? Like, how did you... Well, we both have a serious design background. I obviously um, have been a designer for many years. I worked for Ralph Lauren um, mm -hmm. as a creative director, and I had my own brand. Sandy has been um, has been a blogger and really creative with uh, food and um, has a real real flair for interiers that sort of really are reflected in what we've done here. It so absolutely does. So my clothing, does her here. interior, yes. her food thing, all of the design elements came together, and we also have an amazing funky collection of art that added to yeah, it as well. Yeah, modern art. Right. Yes, which it's, I it's, saw it's a lot. It's nice for me to be able to um, put my my passion into something where we can do together and make money. <laughs> oh, <what laughs> I mean, bottom line. Has that no. started yet? <laughs> no, but seriously, it's like when you have things that you just love to do and you think they're like hobbies. Mm -hmm. But the you, money isn't our motivation, it, so it's really no, saying it's that not, to be funny. You know what I mean. Right. Okay, well, let's see the next room. So this is the green room. Obviously, it's the color green. And these colors are really Sandy's colors. She has really a passion for color, and I think that's reflected. And um, so, you know, together we kind of created this environment. I always say it's like when you walk in downstairs, everything's black and white, and you come up here, and some of the most of the rooms have colors like this. It's like. The Wizard of Oz, when she finally steps into Oz, when the house lands, <laughs> everything's black and white, and then everything becomes technical. That's a perfect description. That's exactly what you do feel when you come in here. So that's great. So now, um, as we learned, you are the owners of The Hue, and you also have a partner who is also the chef, yes. Michael Schultz. Do you know where he's hiding? Yes. He's hiding show? somewhere? <laughs> okay, let's peek in on him. Love the leopard carpeting. Okay. Just every, you paid attention to every detail in this property. And made it come alive. It's so gorgeous. Michael, we have a guest. Right. We found you, Michael. <laughs> Here Hi. is the chef extraordinaire behind Hello, all of this. Hi, Michael. How are you? Great. Thanks for coming today. Great. Great to be, you know, have to have for you to have me. Great. Perfect timing too. Perfect. Some fresh local vegetables that we're going to have on our menu tonight. Wonderful. Can you give us a little idea of what you're doing? I absolutely can. I'm testing it right now, but I think we're in the right uh, track. So these are some vegetables coming from. Uh, Beach Plum Farm and Stone Circle Farms, they're all organic. They're literally were brought out of the ground this morning for us to use for dinner time. Okay. So we're going to offer them as an amuse, a uh, little first bite uh, for the uh, guests as they arrive. So we make a little crudite with the Hikoro turnips, some baby carrots and black radish with some chai blossom, and that is a carrot fermented garlic ranch sauce. Very good, very acidic, and will really be good to get the palate going with a nice fresh uh, glass of rosé or bubbly. And then we have a couple different little, we call them dirt candy. It's literally dirt candy right out of the ground. So this is our red beet pate of fruit. And we have some fermented blackberry. And this is a local strawberry from Beach Plum Farm with seaweed caviar. We're gonna put a little micro rose on there. And I dehydrated some of the strawberries and made a pepper out of them. 
So you have a little sweet, spicy pepper we'll put right on top. And I think that's gonna be it for this evening's amuse bouche. That's beautiful. My mouth is watering right now. Oh, uh, well, here, you're at perfect time, so <laughs> that is for you to take. Wonderful, I'm going to try that. Um, so, okay, well, this is great. Um, thanks so much for letting me in your home. I have two more questions. So we're trying to share the love through town. The other place I love is uh, Queen Bay. I think it's really an amazing store and they really are reflecting the modern sensibility of the town, so it's great. Perfect. And they're nice people. And they're great Which also yeah. helps. Yes. Wonderful. I love it. Spreading the love. How about you, Michael? Oh, me? Yes. Well, uh, as far as restaurants go, my favorite, personally, is the Med Batter. They, they cater to plant-based uh, people just like myself and they have a wonderful menu. And I'd say the second one would have to be the rusty nail. I just like hanging out there at the beach shack. It's a really cool vibe right by the ocean. You know, warm breezes, tropical drinks, can't go wrong. Great. Okay, well, there you have it, folks. And I just wanted to turn this around um, and say thank you to everyone who has joined in with us today. Thank you. Everyone thank say you. bye. Thank you. See you soon. <laughs> All right, see me on my next show. Bye, folks.